I went to fucking Granby Zoo because why not? Ooh. Yeah, you did. Because why the fuck not? The best. We went up with my uh, my Haka Iwi, the group. We all went up for um, the basically the teacher's uh, birthday. Uh, she has literally Kristen Bell esque responses to sloths. So it was like we're gonna do the pay to get her in there to feed the sloth in the morning and okay. hang out, right? I don't get the Kristen Bell reference. I also have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, have you not seen that video of Kristen Bell getting a sloth? Which on? one is Kristen no. Bell again? Is um, that the Twilight? She's the one from uh, Veronica Mars. Assassin's Creed. Thank you. Uh, so, okay, there's a famous video of her on a talk show. Okay. Uh, I forget which one, where someone brings out a sloth and she just starts screaming and freaking out. Like good or bad? Good. Yeah. Like okay. it's just the cutest thing in the world. She okay. can't handle okay. it. It's an overload type yeah. of thing. My teacher loves. She loves sloths. Sure. So. I just I just don't know about this video. Yeah, it, yeah. it, it was it was famous at all. But I, I get it now. Um, and uh, anyway, so so uh, did you push the sloth out of the way and put a red panda there instead? Well, here's the thing. Now okay. I know that you got to be panda dad. Yeah. Right. So well, this is I didn't really. But but this is like him. sloth mom. This is, yeah, this, yeah, is, sloth is mom. this is what it was. Sloth mom's a good mom. Don't worry. And um, the the way it was set up is like, uh, yeah, you know what. When you look at the shop and you look at all the marketing, red pandas are clearly the fucking protagonists. Yeah, they know they sh that shit sells. They, Toe tag. They it's were huge. Designed push. Designed by God to be plush animals. And walking around, walking around, looking, we're like, "Hey, do you got any sloths anywhere in the store? Anywhere?" And, and eaten by the panda. And she's like, "There's one mug and one plush. <laughs> That's it." Oh. And, like, what about Red Panda? You're surrounded by them, you mm. know? So it's not to say that, like, the Red Panda... Because we saw Red Panda, and fuck, those things are cute. Yeah. They're gorgeous, and the, the fur is perfect, and, like, the colors is just... It's designed. I feel like they it, were designed... It's a groomed. character design, it yeah, yeah, right? It genuinely yeah, yeah. looks designed for cute factor. But it's so over already. Yeah. Whereas so the like, sloth... The only thing sloth's gotten recently, besides that Christian, Christian Bell thing, yeah. is the Zootopia gif. You know of the you smile, could, yeah, yeah, in slow motion. No, have but you ever, have you ever over on the internet? Have you ever seen that sloth T-shirt? You, you might oh, it wouldn't really work for a Hawk instructor, but it's like a sloth climbing a bunch of bullshit, and it's just live slow, die whenever. Oh <laughs> no, I have not seen that. That's my favorite piece of sloth merchandise. It's like you know, there's certain animals like otters, uh, sloths. Yeah, like, they're over on the internet, like. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna Google uh, sloth oh, reaction. Yeah, we're watching and we're without watching audio of talk shows just to get you guys up to date on on on, on uh, this apparent thing. But it was on Ellen. Yeah, so Kristen Bell was on Ellen in 2012. Man, if I was on Ellen, oh, I'll be man. like, man, I sure love red pandas. She's talking about eh? getting and she's, stabbed by Ezio or whatever. And she's talking about how much she loves she's sloths. Video games. For and people. then they pull a Mori, and then they. They bring one out, and uh, she basically has a complete oh, she has a meltdown. Okay, yeah. I've seen this reaction gif of her. I just didn't know a sloth was involved. Yeah. yeah. Where is it? Uh, I don't see it. I think they just showed her a video of the sloth. No. There, no. This, was uh, a, this is the wrong clip. Don't worry about it. The anyway. important thing is that Kristen Bell likes sloths, <laughs> and that gave Wooly the idea to go to Granby Zoo. It was. It, it, it was um, That's how I've internalized this story. It was. Uh, it was. It was just the fact that she loves them that much, and so yeah. we got her melting in that exact way, almost pretty much. It was great. And uh, did you see that internet video of like yesterday, where there's this woman just nuzzling and like just rubbing her head with a cheetah. Yeah, I did. And see it's that. The, the, the greatest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually, there's Freaking there's tons out. of people now that are just like, that's their thing is like, yo, I hang out with wild animals All the time. hanging out. Like well, that, that dude that hangs out with the deer. Or bear. bear and, and it's still, and the deer man, stole his chain. He man, put the chain on the deer. Forever. And he's yeah. like, get back here, Lupita. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you man, know, you've had that. cats forever, right? For now that I've had a cat for a year, I look at the videos, you know, the big cats and they sit in the boxes mm -hmm. and, Hey, do uh, Zach and Lilu ever do the thing where their eyes get real big and they turn into like vicious assholes and they they try and eat you? No. Okay. Well, Elmo does that and other ones. And I look at Canela, it, Canela. And I look at Elmo way. and yeah, I yeah, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> "Oh, if you were like a hundred times your size, I would just be food inside you now, because cats need to kill." Yeah. Well, 
Uh, that's the vibe I got just staring at the, the fucking ch- cheetahs and lions just li- lying down in that exact cat way. Where you just look at them and you're like, you you're just a large sized version of Extremely the same thing. Large. Cat way. Like they lie on their sides in that ex- in that same oh, cat kind of way. I think cat the, way. Sorry, I thought you meant because I, I think it was Park Safari when 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 you're in a tunnel and all the lions are lying on top of this translucent tunnel <laughs> and you can <laughs> like good. see them. Yeah, yeah. This is no, I, no. I Gramby, what, Gramby has a different. I setup. confuse Although Safari the, and Gramby all the well, time. Well, it's like I, I remember seeing a couple of years ago of a tiger being given like a box from some Amazon mm-hmm. or some and just. They need to. Yeah, no we, matter a what. Large, so there was a large they box. Were, they need to that sit the lion in the box. was lying in exactly, and like just looking at the way they they were moving around and doing their shit. I'm like, when they were just bored hanging out, it's like you're just a cat. Like yeah. there's no difference. And, in and your then behavior. you're like, oh, cats are really poorly domesticated, actually. But then, <laughs> but then <laughs> Wooly remembers Ghost in the Darkness and respects them once more. <laughs> you have that vision of See? Pierce Brosnan. And you can't Michael for- Douglas. If you were brave, you would jump into that tiger cage to write only dumb assholes sit in this box yeah, on yeah, that crane. Yeah, the, there you go. Or you jump over the fence and smack that hippo's ass. Did you see that? I did not, but is that, that is person alive? That is the most dangerous thing in the world. Is that person alive? They're, n- they're alive. That's amazing. But it's one of those, like, you really don't understand what you just did. Like, that joke that you that you went for... We- if anyone's well what informed, kills things more than hippos in Africa? Mosquitoes? I think mosquitoes. I, I think it's hippos. Like in Africa, <laughs> what, what kills things more than hippos? Hippo. Like it's <laughs> dude. Like no, I mean like there's no, there is no more. Yeah, in outs- Africa, outside of like yeah, like plague carrying like, bugs I, I, and maybe, weird yeah. shit like that. Mosquito- like, when it comes to just like man versus animal sized animal, oh, hippo. Hippo just ruins the human race. I'll never forgive that fucking movie that said like this is the world's greatest serial killer. It's killed over a thousand. He has killed over a thousand people. And then when the trailer says it's a crocodile, boo! I throwing, like I wanted like a serial killer. That doesn't fucking count, <laughs> dude. See, I I'm sure we have discussed this uh, on the podcast because I know that me and you will have discussed this at length, maybe ten times. But every time I hear the story that you just told me, I am overcome with a feeling of I would say anti sympathy over any events that, that occur, occur. Yeah. as a result well, of these actions. what you said, is that guy alive? I almost said, unfortunately. Yeah, and it's and it's not like, oh, that's that's a thing worthy no. of getting murdered. It's just, it's like, the this, comeuppance. this is so stupid that if it were to eat you, I would go, well, yeah. The, like, 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 it's like, oh, I made a sandwich, then I ate the sandwich. It, it's such an obvious death that the fact that it didn't happen is like, wow, okay. It's 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 barely even lucky. It's, it's just it's it's the equivalent of like a uh, local man dies after attempting to uh, uh, hang glide with kites off a off a cliff. You go like, am I supposed to feel bad? Hippos murder. Do you know what kills more than sharks or bears or wolves? A hippos, lot. cows. Oh yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> anyway, I'm but not... we also fucking grow them and have a lot of them hanging around. My, right? my just, grandma, like, um, dear. My grandma, but, oh God. Uh, uh, who recently passed, rest in peace, grandma. But she grew up on a farm, and she, there was a cow that hated her guts. And one day, she was feeding the cows in the barn, and the cow just grabbed its head and just nudged her and just pinned her against the wall for like four hours. Wow. Because it didn't like her. Wow. And the she's like, I don't know, 10 or whatever. Wow. And just the ability to leave is yeah. just not there. Well, that's the one thing, though. At the very least, if a cow fucking hates you, you can fight back against a cow, right? There's, there's a lot of mass. To oh there's a lot. God. But what I'm saying is they don't have the fucking raw kill power <laughs> that a hippopotamus has. Wait a second. Hold on one second, Willie. Matt, when you looked up cows, does that include bulls? No. No. Okay. No, that's not fair. Kidding. All right. Let, let, want to read the? T- want to see the top ten of yeah. animals I kill the most? So number ten, domesticated dogs. That's completely not shocking at all. Due to like mis, you know, yeah. like dogs. The rabies. Are, then the Cape buffalo. Yeah, sure. Are responsible for about two hundred reported deaths a year. Then uh-huh. after that, elephants, about yeah. five hundred people a year. Yeah. And crocodiles, about one thousand to almost twenty five hundred. These are people all pretty normal. Yeah, so we just far. we're going pure tier hippo zoo right now. Tier zoo. Hippo at six. Got it. 
uh, around almost 3,000 people killed every year. That's quite a jump. But it's Africa's most dangerous animal. Got it. Um, so above hippo, we have scorpions, mm -hmm. snakes, mm -hmm. almost 50,000 people killed a year. <laughs> Testy flies. Shut up. What is that? T-S-E-T-S-E. Tsetse flies. I like testy better. 500,000 people killed a year. That's a parasitic. Mosquitoes at number two, about a million people killed a year. <laughs> yeah, via malaria. And number one, the greatest animal of oh, all, I know where human. Oh, <laughs> no. We're number one. This, yeah. We're number one. This is also a thing where I'm reading a countdown, like a TV show, and it goes, human, boo. boo. Like I that. thought yeah. it would be something cooler than me. Yeah. See, the thing is, though, is that when it comes to fucking like hip, when it comes to the, the other shit that's above hippo, it's all like venomous shit yeah, that's yeah, meant to all, kill you, but the, like, right? A ground based hippo animals with no special uh, like like debuffs, with no, no weapons, nothing. It's just raw power. <laughs> they fucking kill with such ver it's, veracity. It's, it's, it's shocking <laughs> that there was never like a TMNT or Street Shark style group that were like hippos. Only the hungry. Hungry. hungry so I'm the, the, and, the and they, and give the me is, your marbles. And they do it with such a rate. And your fucking, head is a marble. They're so tenacious with it. It's almost like they have a vendetta against humans. They like hey, to if kill. If you guys want to see an uh, animated GIF or video to make you big scared of a hippo, just type in hippo and watermelon, and you'll see people throwing full watermelons to the hippos, which they pop like they are like grapes. The, the problem is that baby hippos are also among they're one very of cute. the cutest. And things. don't forget about the. North American house hippo. Yeah. Living yeah. in your closet. You the very small ones. They're very adorable. It's, uh, we were in the, in the near automata LP. We were talking about the speed to kill rating okay. that, that things that you get on your mouse traps zero to date right? yeah. but that's a number that can apply to lots of things and yeah. fucking hippos on the speed to kill are way the fuck up, up hey there. would you rather be like horribly torn apart or die via some numbing burning venom uh i'll take the venom i would not want to take that's, venom. i think you're underselling how horrific dying via necrotic or like heart stopping venom is well here's the thing if the if it's numbing which is the word you say no he just threw i mean like paralytic there. like heart if explosion I, like if i can't move and i'm feeling numb and it's just wasting away in that state. Okay, let's remove the numbness. Okay, well, there's, there's burning, lots of poisons. Well, and... they're both fucking awful. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. But getting ripped apart physically is not something I want to feel. I mean, that's obviously feel. bad, right? That's it's bad. not a thing I want to uh, feel. No one's going to enjoy that. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I remember I shit my pants when we were playing Assassin's Creed Origins, and I didn't know that there were hippos in it. Then I saw there were hippos in it. And you're like, fuck. And I'm like, why? I, this is endgame boss. Yeah, right there. How am I supposed to defeat this? They're legitimately tougher than a lot of the human enemies. Their aggression levels are high, and they don't target other and things. And their mercy is low. <laughs> you know how chickens are noble but and fair? <laughs> Hippos are unfair. Goes. They're oh. brutal, they're merciless, and they're unforgiving. Chickens, if the hippo sees you and it didn't kill you last time, it remembers your face and targets you first yeah, yeah. to finish the job. Like, are you aware of the peacock? Yes, yes. Noble and fair, like in terms <laughs> that it will not kill you if you abide. Everyone, like it's a like hippo griff in Harry Potter. You have to like bow down to it. If you have ever went to a zoo and see, uh, saw a live hippo, you are now on its kill list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be real. It has a visual memory like it's that. Go, what, it's going to take its turn scary as going to all of them. Are, I'm personally more wary about the deer. Just the average ass deer. Deer was really high on the list. Because I'm... I've, and I don't know I, why. We live in an area in which if we just walk for long enough in a direction, there will be deer. And deer have kicked my ass on many occasions... Most of the time as a child. The first of which, of course, but not was, all it, of the was time. at Granby Zoo. But where I went, oh, a deer. And then a baby deer just rocked my shit. But deer will rock your shit and kick your ass. Yeah. A bear will fuck you up. Yeah. A hippo will, you're, do, you're, will end you. Will eat you. <coughs> a hippo will end you. There's no other like, so, yeah, verb but here, to use. And here's where I'm going with this, right? And this is where you have to play the odds. 
Willie, what is your current likelihood of getting damaged by a hippo in your lifetime as you are now? 0.001. Right. What is your likelihood of encountering a deer that will hurt you in some fashion? 2%. Like, it's it, it's a thing that could happen. Yeah. Unlike the hippo. Because you'll be going to an area, they say, we have hippos. And you'll go, no, I'm not. And then you'll leave. And that's why, and that's why a lot of this comes... And like cows, it's like, okay, when you play the numbers game... How many There's cows. There is guaranteed a cow within 20 kilometers Ex of us right now. Which is why it's like, okay, when you just play the raw Smelling numbers. Smelling blood, looking for us. Right? But if, you, but if you're not playing the numbers game on statistics, you're just factoring in individual kill. Yeah. Right? What the fuck else takes Going it? Going back to the well, to Naked and Afraid, do you remember the Black Bear episode? And they're like, there's thousands of black bears. I'm like... So fucking what? You were supposed to run at a black bear and they'll fucking leave. Black bear, notoriously timid, easy to spook. Super spoo coward. Literally punch it on the nose. It'll no, fucking work. you have it. to say, I will punch you on the nose and it'll it knows what you're talking about. You want to have a yeah. fun fucking black bear leave. video, just go look up black bear. What are you doing there? It's like, yeah. it's that guy hanging out in a get deer out of stand. Here. Unlike, unlike, uh, no, bear, get away from my canoe, bear. <laughs> no. Oh, what? I can't believe it's eating my food. Nah, dude. Like so you need a dog, and your your black bear protected for life. Yeah. So any yeah, other bear, no. And, and when Matt says dog, the smaller the better, because yeah, yeah, the smaller yappier dog will intimidate the bear very much. So um, picture, if you will, that like you know, like Telltale style, the hippo will remember that. Yeah. It's just as your faces are walking by, all of your faces are just getting added it's to like, the kill yes. register. Yeah. Yo, do you remember like in, in Minority Report, people always have to look up at the camera, and it goes. Beep, 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 <laughs> That's it. Like that's exactly. It's like if I ever get out of here, I'm probably gonna die first. Yeah. In but if attempt. I but if I don't, I'm coming in the order that I saw you. I'd love to see a Wolverine in real life. That'd be fun. But they're so rare and like they, I don't think they're in the they're they're they've been captured. You know, it was know. fucked up. So Granby, they had uh, porcupines, and they the stink. They were huge. Yeah, yeah, huge and I thought they were like because what porcupines I've always seen have been like these little small, almost um, almost maybe, cat sized may, things. Maybe no, maybe a, are... a small annoyance in a video game. And the yeah. size that they fucking came at, like it was like you were like almost a goat. Yeah, it was huge. Yeah, they're quite large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was nuts. Um, sloths. The other thing with sloths too is like like sloths. those claws. Like they will fuck you up. I don't if really they wanted to, no sleep, only death. Don't now. stick your fingers out. Don't ever point at a sloth. There's a good chance it'll be able to move in time. But they, when they want to, though, they, they, really... they have bursts of speed. Yeah, okay. we wa we hung out with Pui Pui for a while. But but it's is it like Epo where if it can only do it a couple times and then I'll die? It's more like it's more <laughs> like uh, like when it when necessary, it'll use that stamina bar. To completion. completion, and it's like, and then it's sitting and waiting on the re, the, the, the fucking for the cool down, the cool down, yeah, which the CD, is like weeks. The CD is long. The CD okay. is long. Okay. long. Okay. We're not gonna not gonna pretend it's not. All right. Um, but anyway, no man, it was it was fucking it was a good trip, and we saw yeah, saw some crazy shit. Um, what was mo the most fucked up was there's a place where you can go eat lunch surrounded by uh, giraffes and lions and a whole like African safari kind of field. What kind yeah, of barrier cool. are we talking? Uh, you're you're on a height. And the lion one, I looked at the lion one and thought about that tiger one where the, the the tiger jumped out of the barrier at the kid that was being stupid. The kid who super deserved it. The, the stupid idiot. <laughs> the one we always think of when we so, think of that story. Yeah, that one where the tiger's like, you know what, fuck this bitch. And just jumps out of the giant wall and gets out. You know what, let's refresh real quick. The story we're talking about is what a kid got eaten at the San Diego Zoo by a tiger who jumped like 16 feet out of its own enclosure. Giant pit. And you go, oh no, why'd the kid die? Because he was throwing rocks at the tiger. And it jumps up and gets close to him a couple times. And he's like, ha, 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 and keeps throwing rocks at it. And it gets within swiping distance and then just fucking clears it. So Yeah, so then fuck him. They can super jump. Um, and so looking at the way this was set up, I, that's my first thought was looking at the super jump potential. And it was, yeah, they, they were not able to get out. Okay. However, right, you're surrounded by that. Then there was some uh, elephants on the other side um, and some really cool gorillas hanging out where they're like and the gorillas they're like any other thing that fights they'll break them up and, and trank if they need to gorillas have to fight because they need to let each other know who's boss because yeah. if they don't they won't have the confidence to mate when the time comes I, mm. and if they just trank them they wake up and go who won I don't know and then they get right back into it right? I, so um I don't like gorillas but this shit is all set up around the food area where the smell of fucking delicious cooked meat 
is just going 24 7. And I'm like, why would you put the lions? Out back steakhouse right next to Why would you do this? And we're eating our foods and dripping our sauces over the barriers as lions are just smacking their teeth like. And that's their whole existence is the smelling of delicious, delicious meats. One day we're going to get the meat, and then the other day we're going to get the meat eating the meat. <laughs> you know? And I was like, this is an unfortunate place to put that. It's That's like, not uh, smart, guys. I refuse to go to any primate like area, and the DK rap is not on loop oh, 24-7. Man. Well, you know what? Of that like, 24... fuck off. Yeah, you know what fucking DK is doing eight hours a day? Eating. Yeah. Because when you're eating fucking leaves and you're that big and powerful, you need to eat so much of it's it. It's a full time job Reminds because it's me, not real uh, food. Tirzu just did a, a video. Uh, or should dinosaurs you, be unbanned should, from the meta? And, and like number one problem <laughs> is they're so large and their food supply is mostly plants that it's probable that like the current uh, earth just can't support it. Support them. They would probably all die immediately from starvation unless we fucking showed up. And started throwing ourselves at them. Well, slash. Not, that's not going to help a triceratops. No, it's not. They need they need plants. But the omnivores and carnies would, would yeah, well, you know. I mean, yeah. Do you I, know you can outrun a T-Rex? They're actually quite slow. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. What about, but but then anything that's not a T-Rex is still a fucking problem. Well, yeah, the raptors will kill you for sure. Raptors will fucking but get raptors you. Raptors are just kangaroos with claws. You know, the, uh, and, and any of those smaller shits too, the annoying ones. Anyway, ideally, um, yeah, I don't like, I, I want to expand uh, chimps and gorillas and whatnot in, in zoos freak me out. So the weirdest part about yeah. the zoo was that there was a dino zoo section. What? And I was like, uh, uh? And it's like, you're just wasting park space Is this for where they statues? throw those loser birds that they're like, this was Not descended even. from a raptor? They're just statues. And you're like, you're wasting space. No. Statues? On fucking statues no, of dinosaurs. get something endangered in there. The, the, the animatronic fucking stegosaurus that I, that I saw at the escape room was more impressive. Anyway. Get some, um, get some fucking, I don't know. Yeah. Steal someone's kids and throw them in there. It was a kangaroo and shit like that. It was cool. It was cool. Um, but whatever. We I could go on about the fucking zoo forever, but it was a hey, good time. Hey, guess what? Zoos are cool. And if you think zoos are bad, you're probably misunderstanding the situation. 